rotation of solids one. Given the elevation of a flag, this is the model of the flag. And this is the plan of that flag, looking directly down on top of it. We're asked to rotate it into a 45 degree position. And as it rotates, that end point of the flag follows that circle. And when it gets to where that dotted line position is, that's where we want it. We're asked to draw the elevation of it then. When we look at the rotation in elevation, as I roll the flag over now, you'll see the point moving along this horizontal line. So the end point is moving along the horizontal line until we get to the position that we require. Now we're asked to draw the elevation of it in that new position. Rotate the point around in plan, and draw horizontally point the elevation and bring the plan up to the elevation and that gets the end point of the flag. Join it back to the post and that's the flag drawn. Now to get the lines, that's the lines on the front there. When we rotate into that position, the lines will appear on this side. So bring the top point across to hit the new line. So draw horizontally across from each of the lines. Where it intersects that line, draw it vertically down. That's the line where it will appear now in the new view. The next question is a plan of another flag. When we rotate the plan around, similar thing happens. It follows the circle as it goes around in plan. That's the location we want it in. Now we're asked to draw the elevation of it now when it's rotated. Looking at it rotating in the elevation, as it rotates it like that, the lines all move horizontally. Now to do that, we draw the points down to the plan, rotate them around using the compass. Now draw them vertically up to the new position and then bring the corresponding points across. So the end point here, it's on the outside circle and that gets us one point. The top point, draw it around in plan, bring it up to the elevation and that's it. The next point, a similar situation. Bring it around in the plan and vertically up and that gets the top edge of the flag. Now to get the rectangle, the rectangle is going to be in this position here. Follow the circle around, so that gives you the side of it there and there. So that's the flag complete, and that's your rotation of solids one complete.